we yeah there's an urgency now uh, that's another part to this uh that there's i'm not sh- exactly sure which what it is i've i've and i don't i don't even look at it really but it's there uh there's a there's a, a driving force right now an urgency that i've never uh, i've never felt like this uh before like uh time is short and I, and I don't know what that means necessarily. I don't know if that means time is short for me because I'm going to get the brain hemorrhage in you know two years, and I've just only, I don't I've only got a little bit of time to do something to do this, I mean, you know, or is a bigger scene where the, the collapse is coming and it's going to be impossible to move at that point. So get things. I tend to think that's more what it is. Is that uh, there's some time right now to kind of get prepositioned and get into a place where he wants to have his people in different places and kind of out of the, out of the morass that's just, you know, uh, piling up here, but whatever it is, there is a definite sense of urgency because something, some, something huge is, is on the horizon. And, uh, you know, we've always talked about that and everyone senses it. Um, and I don't look at it. I don't care. I mean, I, in a, a part of me is like, yeah, whatever. Um, and yet it's driving me. It's what I'm finding is, you know, I wake up and bam, I'm hitting this thing and I'm up till like you, you know, we hours and yet I'm yeah. never tired. I've got this like unlimited energy that just is yep. being just downloaded down is just force fed almost. It, and, but it's- Hello friends and YouTubers. What you just listened to there for that uh, short minute, minute and a half was uh brother Thomas uh, being interviewed by, uh, Zeph Daniel, and uh, yeah, their timing is impeccable. Wow, talk about it. But anyways, I've uh, decided to make this video to uh, inform you of some information which I've uh, became aware of, and it's uh, rather uh, disturbing. So I do hate to be the messenger or bearer of bad news, but there is uh, definitely something that I want to uh, share with you all before getting into the information of the Deagle.com website I want to review a quick abstract with you in regards to this information first of all uh, from the, his website and also that website All News Pipeline it stated that the population of the United States is around 350 million maybe 325 million someplace in between that and then by 2025 it's going to be reduced to 65 million so in other words we're going to have a 80 percent reduction of the population within the next uh, nine years here and they're also predicting a uh, mass migration to Latin America and possibly China and then uh, speaking of Latin America take a look at what is happening in Venezuela at this very moment this is coming to your neighborhood in the near future including its cannibalism what is coming to America will be described as hell on earth but anyways I've listed five possible explanations for this wave of death and destruction that will be coming and I think it will be uh, starting probably in uh, 2017 by the end of the year. The top of my list or my uh, possibilities is uh, economic collapse which I think we'll start to see by the first part of June and uh, following it its snowball effect on the financial institutions, the banking, the vaults, inflation, loss of incomes, the destruction of uh, people's retirement funds, uh, a disruption in the just-in-time supply chain in regards to uh, the food supply and which will lead to famine also there will be a lack of medical care and medicines especially the life-saving medicines like the blood pressure diabetes heart medicines and also psychiatric medications when those run out it's going to create some real devastation in the households plus I expect there will be inadequate or complete lack of basic services provided by the local agencies. The second on the list here is uh, disease and these are probably co- going to be natural and man-made uh, diseases and these here um, man-made d- diseases will most likely come from viruses 
and uh, vaccines are made in labs just like uh, the Zika virus was uh, quite likely uh, made in a lab someplace and also you can throw in the chemtrails and uh, most of you people that are listen to YouTube uh, videos and, and watch YouTube videos are quite, quite well aware of uh, chemtrails. The third on the list is war and civil war and civil unrest. I think that once uh, the shit hits the fan and people are starving and angry and bitter about the loss of their uh, retirement funds, uh, there's going to be a lot of a lot of unrest and anger and uh, and rioting to go with it. My fourth set of uh, scenarios involve natural and non-natural disasters, and the top of the sealed list are the fireballs. And there was a fireball that was spotted on the east coast just a week or so ago, and then uh, just a few days ago there was a large fireball over Mexico that exploded. So these here fireballs are going to be coming more frequently. Uh, they're probably going to be bigger and we're going to eventually see some serious damage. The next thing along the line are the earthquakes, floods, volcanoes which are blowing their tops all over the place and there was a major volcano that erupted back in uh, the early 1800s that put so much ash in the sky that it cooled off the planet to such a point that crops were couldn't or had a hard time growing over a, a two-year period and a lot of people starved to death and then finally there's always the concern if the power grid goes down and this could happen by a solar mass ejection by the sun or by an EMP uh, created by the uh, powers that be. Finally here's a uh, of my uh, five parts this is number five of the scenarios or possibilities and number five is to plan deaths by the powers that be and their agenda 21 which is generally a no-brainer for most of us and this will be done through their FEMA and death camps basically when the people are starving and they run out of food uh, People are just going to starve to death in these here death camps. And then, of course, we have the Terminator robots that will be taking out Christians, constitutionalists, and resistors of the new regime. And it does sound like, through the grapevine, that they will have the first part of these here uh, robots, Terminators or whatever, uh, coming out into the public in 2017. So that's just something to give you a heads up about. And that pretty much uh, sums up my five major uh, topics. And now we go on to uh, the Deagle website and information. Hello there, folks. Now here it is. Uh, this is from All News Pipeline. They did an analysis of uh, Deagle's uh, information on his website. And the title of this here is uh, U.S. to lose 78% of population by 2025. And now we know why. A confluence of crisis with a devastating result. Deagle.com comes out of the closet. Death toll will be horrible. And this was written by Stephen Stanford. The brand new video below by Ia Ada Learn breaks down Deagle.com's 2025 forecast for America and the world in a way that no one has seen before and with a message left by Deagle on their website explaining part of the reason why the U.S. will have 240 million less people living here in 2025 than 2015, a 78% population drop. We also see that this depopulation event isn't for the whole world, but mainly Western nations, and a death toll will be horrible, according to a statement released by Deagle. While Deagle whitewashes their explanation for this depopulation event, as seen in their statement, and it's entirely below video, we can read between the lines of what they tell us and what they don't to get the whole picture, and it confirms our worst theories. 
in this day and age are still unlimited immigration into America by illegals at the invitation of Barack Obama. Simply imagine what kind of event it will take here so that millions of Americans who are here now want to flood out of America. It's about to get real. <laughs> Even though Deagle whitewashes their explanation for why America will have 240 million less living here in 2025 than now, leaving potential nuclear war and pandemic out of the picture, what they do tell us helps us to confirm what preppers and conspiracy theorists have been warning about for many years. America is about to suffer a devastating financial collapse leading to a horrible death poll. Quote from Deagle. The key element to understand the process that the USA will enter in the upcoming decade is migration. In the past, especially in the 20th century, the key factor that allowed the USA to rise to its colossal status was the immigration with the benefits of a demographic expansion, supporting the credit expansion and a brain drain from the rest of the world benefiting the states. The collapse of the Western financial system will wipe out standard of living of his population while ending Ponzi schemes such as the stock exchange and the pension funds. The population will be hit so badly by a full array of bubbles and Ponzi schemes that the migration engine will start to work in reverse, accelerating itself due to ripple effects, thus leading to the demise of the states. This unseen situation for the states will develop itself in a cascade pattern with unprecedented and devastating effects for the economy. Jobs offshoring will surely end with many American corporations relocating overseas, thus becoming foreign corporations. We see a significant part of the American population migrating to Latin America and Asia, while immigration to Europe, suffering a similar illness, won't be relevant. Nevertheless, the death toll will be horrible. Take into account that the Soviet Union's population was poorer than the Americans nowadays or even then. The ex-Soviets suffered during the following struggle in the uh, 1990s with a significant death toll and a loss of national pride. Might we say twice the pride, double the fall? Nope. The American standard of living is one of the highest, far more than double the Soviets while having added a services economy that will be gone along with the financial system. When pensioners see their retirement disappear in front of their eyes and there are no servicing jobs, you can imagine what is going to happen next. At least younger people can migrate. Never in human history were so many elders among the population. In the past centuries, people were lucky to get to the 30s or 40s. The American downfall is said to be far worse than the Soviet Union's one. A confluence of crisis with a devastating results. In this first video, we are given a much better perspective of the depopulation event about to hit part of the world. We must warn you, the nations to be depopulated are largely Western nations. Many BRICS nations will see population growth as millions leave America for other parts of the world where they'll have the opportunities they no longer have in America. In a second video below, Alex Jones tells us what many of us already know and is a surprise even to himself that for once in his life, Alex actually agrees with Dick Cheney. Barack Obama is here to destroy America. These results from Deagle show that if the current policies remain unchanged, Obama will likely accomplish this mission. And uh, yeah, that's generally it. We got uh, two videos here, as uh, was uh, previously described. And really, when you take a look at uh, Obama, yeah, he was basically elected. He's, uh, he's here for, uh, yeah, destruction of the United States, and that was, uh, that's probably almost a supernatural thing, too, because, you know, the United States has been living on such luxury for so long, and it's probably well overdue to be punished, but, uh, there's more down below here, but, uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of, uh, even with my reading glasses, it's kind of hard to read, but this is uh, information and statements from uh, the uh, author of the Deagle site, and I'll leave links down below in order for you to uh, read this if you're so interested. And here is an, another article and it shows an updated version and so instead of having the 78% uh, less people he uh, reduced the numbers to even lower to 65 million in this latest one and he's got a couple of videos here and what we'll take a look we'll take a quick look at the Deagle site and I think that should be uh, pretty much a uh, here we go. Sorry to be scrolling back and forth. But here it is. Deagle.com. So, you know, I don't know who this uh, this person is that runs this here uh, site. He must have a lot of uh, contacts or something. But anyways, you can see this came out... Uh, well, the last one is 2014, and you can see the population, he says right up here, 319 million, and then the forecast for 2025 is 65 million. So you can see how everything's going to really, really, really drop. But he's got quite a bit of in information. Uh, here on military aviation sea power ground forces strategic i suppose the missile system and missile systems airliners blah 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 and you can see over on the left hand side uh, this is probably where we get all our uh his gets the resources so it almost sounds like this guy is almost like in a economist that he can um, do his research and put everything together as far as uh, what's where's the direction and everything is going he's a in other words a, a, a good analyst so I don't know he must have some close ties to the CIA or something too but um, anyways he does claim that all the information that's here is readily available for anybody if you want to go do the research and and find it but that's about it um, so I hope you found this informing or informative and uh, as I said before I'll put some links down below so you can check out the videos and yeah and my voice is going to pieces right now so I'm uh, thinking that uh, yeah supernaturally they just uh, don't want me getting this information out but uh, hey have a good day I see no way around this coming train wreck of the United States of America we are about to be severely punished along with the other Western countries like in Europe for our decadent behaviors and the opulence we've enjoyed over the years in less than 10 years, if the data is correct and you are still here, then two people on your left hand and two people on your right hand will not be here and standing next to you in 2025. The great harvest that Jesus Christ described is just around the corner. Sure, you can do a little prepping, but the most important thing is to get right with the Lord and ASAP. The time of fin sitting is over. The door is closing soon. If you are an atheist, I emphatically implore you to consider this invitation to Jesus Christ. This date of 2025 does seem to line up quite closely with Daniel's timeline. So I would like to hear comments, especially from you experts who have studied Daniel's timeline. Finally, I want to give a shout out to Tony over at Mindcrime1994 who presented this information briefly in a recent video of his. 
he uh, more or less introduced me to the, uh, the Deagle website, which I had uh, never heard of. So uh, thank you, everybody, for taking the time to listen to this video, and bear with me with my uh, rough and raspy uh, voice. It seems like the demons that are out there just didn't want this here message to get through, but somehow it is. So uh, God bless you all, and take care.